HTML cascading style sheets part two. If you want to change the color of the text using the internal style sheet, we have to refresh it in Dreamweaver. We now see we have magenta. But let's say we try to change it here in the external style sheet to red, let's say. And we save this, so it'll take effect. And we have to save this also. So file save. See, it does not, not change. The reason for that is the inline style sheet takes precedence over the external style sheet. And this is something you have to be aware of when you're doing styling with cascading style sheets. So let us go back. I had an error here where it doesn't make a difference. That wouldn't have mattered. Okay, so uh, I think we had this as green. Let's just keep it green for now. We'll save it. So file save. Okay. So now we have this internal style sheet. Let us try now to use an inline style. An inline style is where you style the attributes within the tag itself. So in this case, we would type in that one time messed up there. I'm in the wrong place. Style equals and then color and we shall say what color do we want? Red. So I'm just going to pick red. I know what the code is there. And we're going to hit refresh and now the text is red. So, if I change the style color here in the style sheet or up here, for example, if I change this to, let's say, black, and refresh, nothing changes because this particular style is closer to the element itself. In fact, it's right inside the P tag. So this takes precedence over this style up here, which is internal style sheet, which takes precedence over the external style sheet. But make, make note here that you want to avoid using inline styles. It makes for too much work every time you want to make a change. And even so here too, this internal style sheet is good for development purposes, but not good for using after that, because if you need to change internal styles in each page, you have to go to each page to make the change. So external style sheets is where you want to go.